In the dim glow of a bygone era's cinematic magic, one cannot help but journey back to that pivotal first encounter with the 1946 Mar masterpiece, The Big Sleep. As the silver screen flickered to life, it ushered in a world of smoke-filled rooms, sultry glances, and a labyrinthine plot that rivaled the intricate dance of shadows. Do you recall the moment when Humphrey Bogart's Philip Marlowe first graced the screen, a trench-coated enigma navigating the murky underbelly of crime and corruption? Perhaps it was the haunting notes of the score that etched an indelible mark on your memory, or the enigmatic allure of Lauren Bacall's Vivian Rutledge, leaving you spellbound in the haze of a detective's dilemma. Now, as we step into the realm of random facts surrounding the cinematic gem, picture yourself transported to the mean streets of 1940s Los Angeles. Did you know that the film's plot, like a cleverly woven tapestry, proved so complex that even the author of the original novel, Raymond Chandler, reportedly struggled to explain certain details? Such intricacies mirrored the labyrinth Marlowe navigated, blurring the lines between mystery and reality. And then there's the iconic chemistry between Bogart and Bacall, a smoldering on-screen partnership that transcended the celluloid frame. Behind the scenes, their off-screen romance further fueled the flames of intrigue, casting a shadow over the film's narrative that rivaled the dark corners of the narrative itself. As we delve deeper into the nuances of this classic, let your mind wander to that moment when you first glimpsed the chiaroscuro brilliance of the big sleep, where every frame held the promise of revelation. Unravel the threads of memory and let the echoes of Bogart's world resonate within you. This journey into the heart of noir nostalgia is only beginning. Brace yourself for more tantalizing tidbits from the shadows of cinematic history. And remember, the story has just begun. In the 1946 movie The Big Sleep, Raymond Chandler asserted that Martha Vickers delivered such a powerful performance as Carmen Sternwood that she overshadowed Lauren Bacall. Due to this, a significant portion of Vickers' performance was left on the cutting room floor. Vickers' intensity in her role seemingly outshone the film's leading lady. Interestingly, Humphrey Bogart, who played the lead role, had to resort to wearing platform shoes to match the height of his two leading ladies, Lauren Bacall and Martha Vickers. This height difference may explain why both women in the movie taunt his character about his stature. The movie subtly weaved this element into the dynamics between the characters, adding a layer of intrigue to the interactions on screen. Moreover, the genesis of the big sleep is intertwined with Humphrey Bogart's earlier film, The Maltese Falcon. After watching Bogart in action, Lee Brackett was inspired to pen her inaugural detective novel, No Good from a Corpse. This literary work played a pivotal role in securing her the opportunity to write the screenplay for The Big Sleep. Brackett's journey from viewer to acclaimed writer is a testament to the lasting impact of Bogart's performances on the industry. In summary, The Big Sleep not only delivered a compelling noir narrative, but also harbored behind-the-scenes stories that shaped its cinematic landscape. From Martha Vickers' intense portrayal to the creative solution of platform shoes for Bogart's height, the movie is a mosaic of interesting anecdotes that enrich the viewing experience. And that's a snapshot of the intriguing dynamics behind the making of The Big Sleep, where on-screen intensity, height disparities, and literary inspiration converge to create a classic noir film. In the 1946 film The Big Sleep, the fussy persona adopted by Humphrey Bogart's character, Marlowe, in Jiger's bookstore has sparked debate over its origin. Lauren Bacall attributed it to Bogart, while director Howard Hawks claimed it was his idea. However, the original source lies in the book itself, where Marlowe describes, I had my horn-rimmed glasses on. I put my voice high and let a bird twitter in it. Bogart merely expanded on this existing element. Another interesting tidbit revolves around Mars' henchmen, named Sidney and Pete. This nod pays tribute to Bogart's frequent co-stars Sidney Greenstreet and Peter Laura, adding a subtle layer of homage to the film. Moreover, the car driven by Bogart in the big sleep holds historical continuity. It's the same 1938 Plymouth Deluxe used by Bogart in the 1941 film High Sierra, where he portrayed Roy Earl. This shared vehicle enhances the connection between Bogart's roles, adding a touch of familiarity for those acquainted with his cinematic history. 
These details contribute to the layered fabric of the big sleep, showcasing the intricate decisions made by both actors and filmmakers. Whether it's the nuanced portrayal by Bogart or the subtle tributes embedded in the characters, each element plays a role in shaping the film's identity and its lasting impact on cinema. And that's the lowdown on the intriguing details surrounding the big sleep. Hollywood's creative tricks and Bacall's big payday in The Big Sleep in the classic 1946 film The Big Sleep, Hollywood went to great lengths to conceal Humphrey Bogart's modest stature. Two clever tactics stand out. First, all the women in the movie wear flats a deviation from the norm of that time. Second, Lauren Bacall, Bogart's on-screen partner, strategically slouches in the car's passenger seat, a move designed to downplay the height difference. One intriguing aspect behind the scenes is the impact of Lauren Bacall's rising star. After the success of To Have and Have Not, Warner Bros. Executives were so impressed with Bacall that they renegotiated her contract. Her weekly salary soared from $350 to an impressive $1,000, a significant leap reflecting both her talent and marketability. Adding a layer of drama to the production was the personal relationship between Bacall and Bogart. The year that passed between finishing the first version of the film and shooting new scenes saw the couple tie the knot. However, this union strained their professional relationship with director Howard Hawks. Hawks, not wanting to witness excessive on-screen mushiness, even sold his personal contract for Bacall's services to Warner Bros. Despite the off-screen tension, The Big Sleep remains a cinematic gem, a product of Hollywood's ingenuity in handling behind-the-scenes dynamics and challenges. The film continues to captivate audiences with its intricate plot, sharp dialogue, and the undeniable chemistry between Bogart and Bacall. In the shadowy world of film noir, The Big Sleep not only concealed Bogart's stature, but also illuminated the rising star power of Lauren Bacall. Hollywood's creative solutions and the off-screen drama make this classic a fascinating glimpse into the intricacies of filmmaking during that era. As we bid adieu to the labyrinthine world of The Big Sleep, let the echoes of 1946 resonate in your mind. Like an enigmatic fog settling over the cityscape, this film weaves a tapestry of intrigue, deception, and those unforgettable one-liners that linger in the corridors of your consciousness. As you reflect upon the shadows cast by Bogart and Bacall, delve into the smoky allure of the bygone era. The Big Sleep is not merely celluloid, it's a mirror reflecting the mysteries of our own existence. Did you find a piece of yourself in Marlowe's cynical wit, or did Vivian Ruddledge's charm leave an indelible mark on your cinematic soul? Your thoughts are the missing pieces to this cinematic puzzle. Share your reflections, your musings, and your favorite frames from this noir masterpiece. Did you uncover hidden nuances, or perhaps, did the labyrinth leave you with more questions than answers? Pour your thoughts into the comments, let's unravel this narrative together. In this age of fleeting attention spans, the big sleep stands as a testament to the timeless allure of storytelling. So, let the dialogue continue beyond the closing credits. Your memories, your interpretations, they the threads that bind us in the celluloid journey. Thank you for embarking on this exploration with us. Your time and insights are the true treasures in this treasure hunt through the shadows of the big sleep. Until next time, keep the spirit of classic cinema alive in your heart.